All right, stray developers, listen up. We gotta pick. We gotta pitch. I need some pitches here for some mm. uh, things that we want the cat to be doing in the game. We know that we want the game to be based on a cat, but I b- beyond that, I'm not really sure what we want the cat to be doing. Uh, so I need your guys' help. Uh, what do you guys want to see the cat doing in the, in the game? Well, I'm really grateful to be given this opportunity. It's my first day. I keep being fired from companies. My name is Dougette. Oh, uh, Dougette. Hi, Dougette. Yeah, good to see you. Hi, Dougette. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, You're an nice. asset. Thank you so much. Of day one, asset. I like it. Mm-hmm. I like it. Anything with ass. Uh, so right. my So hmm. my initial okay. pitch is, you know, like, we know that video games need stakes. We know that it needs jeopardy. Mm-hmm. So I want I want to see like maybe like the cat get hurt a little bit. Like maybe it falls oh. off a cliff and it like oh. it hurts itself and it's got a little limp and it hurts its legs. Well, I mean, yeah, stakes stakes are important. I don't know if we necessarily want the objective of the game for the cat to get hurt. Oh. Um, but you know, there will be times where the cat's in peril and you know okay. maybe injured. But you know, yeah, I don't know if we want to see the cat necessarily okay. hurt. Some okay. sort of fail state, so that's a good area to pitch in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, what if like okay, there's like a cat and mouse moment, and you're oh. the, when the cat chases the mouse, you know, you can't control it, so it's like, uh oh, don't get close to the mouse, you you lose control of the cat. I like it. And and then yeah. so you lose control of the cat, and it like runs off a cliff and breaks all its legs. No, okay, yeah. This is, I mean, it's sort of just sort of a longer runway to get to the cliff. It mm. sounded like. Sounds and, dramatic to what to experience as a as a player. I mean, just I yeah, think I think right. I feel like people are extra protective of animals as opposed to humans. So okay, what if like ro- what if you know we got robots in this game? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what if the robot eats the cat, and then it's so full of the cat that it falls off a cliff, and the robot. So then the robot legs? falls off the cliff. Yeah. I, I, I how, guess I just don't know that robots need to eat necessarily. You know, how do you picture the robot eating the cat? Sh- jamming it in the little slot, like, Ooh, like jamming it in the little slot. Kind of like, kind of like. Okay, what if we, what if we? Oh, cat gets a little bed. Okay, yeah, no, it's, that's good. That's cute. it's cute to watch the bed. cat. Like have a yeah. little rest, yeah. Yeah, that's it's a, good a little idea. rest, and then and then the the uh oh, it's cold, and it starts to snow, and you're worried about the cat, Aww. and the 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 area where the cat is sleeping gets slippery, and the bed sort of slides. No, off, off the a, cliff, off a cliff. Yeah, I just, look, I I gotta I gotta pipe in here, Dougat. I just I joined this team because I love cats. All right. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. The cats are beautiful creatures. Uh uh-huh. Beautiful, sensual creatures. And we should be embracing uh, the side of them, you know, that a lot of players are just gonna want to cuddle with these okay. yeah. little females. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They're gonna wanna I cuddle. They're gonna yeah. wanna cuddle with the cats, but I don't know if sensual is the correct word. Cuddle up, maybe one thing leads to another. See, oh, where, this, God. see where this night goes. Yeah, like, no, I do, no. I like it. I like it. I like it. Yeah. No, we can't. Ha- no, we're, the game is not. The cat is not sexy well, in any sort of way. The cat, the cat's on a mission, you know, uh, and it's trying not to be in danger. So I'm gonna have to veto both these ideas. This is not. This is this is not working for me here. Well, what are you bringing to the table? Yeah, you, Mr. You cat said CEO. It. You, you just say no all the time. Was it? Is yeah. that your job? Yeah. Cause my job's my job's coming up with shit like what if a cliff falls on the cat, and we see its guts. Or what okay, if well, the... that is a subversion of what you originally pitched? And you know what? Let's get it in there. <laughs> we make robots trip and avoid being eaten by Zerks as we play you pay, play twenty twenty two sci fi cat adventure stray this week on Get Played. <laughs> Played your one stop show for good games, bad games, and every game in between. It's time to get played. I'm one of your hosts, 
Heads per Nyan Catbell. I'm another of your hosts, Nick Tiger. And I'm one of the other hosts, Meow Opera Doc Cat. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Hello. Hello, everyone. And you know, it's our first Twitch, so welcome back, Bucket. Wow. wow, wow. Your hello because of how Twitch, uh, because we're we're on Twitch, but I'm capturing the Zoom feed from my computer locally. So what's happening is that uh, the, like Zoom cuts out the audio if it, get, if it gets too loud, and your hello was so emphatic, uh, your hello everyone response, that I think it just uh, went to, to went mute for a few frames there. Wow. So, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Heather, so you went beast mode it? too early. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> no, you're fine. We are live on Twitch, and what? What? Did I, thank you, everyone, for being here. The the Twitch is Twitch is a uh, Twitch chat is asking me to uh, give an edge, and I guess fucking for old time's sake, edge. There we are. Wow. Yes. That's this is huge. Now the you know, now the chat is just saying edge. So. Okay, yeah, Wall of Edge. This is good. Yeah, uh, anybody that's joining us that doesn't know what this is is uh, shocked and uh, maybe horrified. <laughs> my, but also my, maybe favorite, my favorite thing about this is that everyone is now going to be aware that we trim every inner inner conversational pause from the records before we release them because there's the, like the awkwardness that is present between the three of us. Yeah, it, I think I think it's like. Devin has like a button that he presses that yeah. just like removes silence. It's a yeah, it's a, a social norm filter that we we, <laughs> we have in, in, in Pro Tools. Yeah, yeah, we never seem awkward. The no. uh, Devin Bryant, uh, our engineer, uh, who uh, who did that theme song and did that that cat remix, uh, which was uh, which was perfect, which was delightful. I, I do want to perfect. Wanna... It was Heather. <laughs> That's why you're the best. <laughs> 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 I I did a, a, a little bit of news just because like I think this happened this week and as of this as of this Twitch show this will be out in our live stream on uh, the Monday the following Monday or in our normal feed rather in the following Monday. Uh, but uh, Kojima, we love Kojima here. Himself has gotten into the podcasting game. Yeah, he has a new podcast called Brain Structure that launches September eighth on Spotify. Do you? No, I think he had a different podcast that, like, he was uh, dabbling in, and it was only mm -hmm. available in Japan, and it was not mm. like it was Japanese only, Japanese interviews. So I'm wondering what the format here will be. Like, will he will he go? Will he slalom? Will he have like English guests, Japanese guests? Uh, from what guests? I read from the press release, it will be both in Japanese and English. So I imagine that he'll be on it, and then there will be a translated version that's released. Right? But who knows? Well, then cancel ours because we're done. We oh, okay. the goal. Yeah. yeah. I also heard he's going to be reviewing uh, chain restaurants on his too. So oh, you might boy. have to, you know, you might Fuck. be out of the, the game, Fuck. Nick. Um, I uh, I hope it is. I hope his podcast is just like his Twitter feed. It's just like he's just telling us what he's currently watching on Blu-ray. Yeah. yeah. Like, watch him drive again. And he, it's that, and like once in a while he'll be like, "Wow, these." These uh, eggs hollandaise look like boobies. <laughs> <laughs> Horny freak. Uh, but look, we have other business to discuss here. This is a proper episode, it being on Twitch notwithstanding. So a question must be asked to the panel. Uh -oh. And to the chat, honestly. Mm -mm. What are you playing? Ooh, what are you playing? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! It's end game! <laughs> 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 well, uh, what, are, what are you playing, Nick? No, you you start us off. I want to hear. Me? Oh, yeah. What am I playing? Uh, <laughs> but so uh, you know, as I've said in the last couple of weeks, I've been I've been really busy with work. But um, I've been I've been working my way slowly through Xenoblade Chronicles Three. Uh, it remains a, a, a delightful highlight of my uh, five minutes here, ten minutes there. Uh, Twitter has let me know that there is a ninety-minute cutscene in this game somewhere. Fuck. So there's, <laughs> I'm in. There's gonna, there's gonna be like at some point I'm gonna be like, oh, okay, great, great, great. I, I can't wait to play, and I'm gonna play, and I'll have like fifteen minutes, and I'll just see cutscene, and then I'll come back, and it's gonna be days of that for me. 
And wow. that's, and I don't know when it's going to happen. So all cutscenes are kind of like holding me hostage. Right. Like anytime it goes to cutscene now, I'm like, oh, fuck, is this the one? It, but it might be late in the game. Um, nobody on Twitter has said that it's the ending credits. So I can't, like, I feel like it has to be somewhere in the middle, uh, which I'm nowhere near close to. Yeah, do we have so, any clarity? Has anyone gotten through enough of 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 uh, uh, Zeno uh, the the new? Wait, is it? It's not. I, I almost said Zeno Saga. Zeno Blade. Zeno Blade. Zeno. I'm a fucking idiot, Nick. We're on stream. I know. What are you I'm doing? Fuck, Devin, delete this. <laughs> to make me make me look smart. Um, <laughs> has anyone gotten to the point? And, like silence caps him. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> has anyone gotten to the point in Zeno Blade where the they've seen this ninety minute? cutscene and what what hour are we looking at 50 hours in intro course says in the chat oh wow. so i'll see that in like 2025 great <laughs> <laughs> yeah you'll be playing the game and then suddenly watch a feature film yeah <laughs> i was playing uh zeno gears the playstation one game i had this memory i was playing zeno gears the playstation one game on my uh college college dorm playstation mm -hmm. uh, on my tv and i was playing it like sit at a setup where it, like i had my my little 13 inch tv crt next to my monitor on my desk and i was playing it there and this uh this girl who was on my dorm floor came in and she like just sat on my lap and she was like what are you playing like like not like the resident evil merchant like kind of like like oh what is this like she was kind of yeah interested. Rise. yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh wow all right <laughs> So this is happening, and I was just, I could not have been more frustrated. Get off of me! Like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> was, yeah, the reaction was so unnecessarily hostile to someone Hell who was, like, on. clearly making the most overt move. And then, you know, obviously later I was like, ah, that was probably dumb of me. But you know what? I was playing a JRPG. <laughs> it was engrossing. Not a Dear Penthouse story. No, it does not have any sort of <laughs> sexy ending. Yeah, that's, I mean... That, I I'm just shocked. I'm just shocked by all of it. But also not. <laughs> you know, uh, the the way I remedied that sort of problem, which by the way never happened to me, uh, like somebody <laughs> coming into my dorm and being like, "What are you doing?" Uh, was to move off campus uh, into a one person apartment. There you and go. And then nobody can stop you from playing video games. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the move. And I would have. And then years later, you can be on a podcast and be like, why didn't I have friends? <laughs> why didn't I have fun? Why are all my memories like playing Vagrant Story on my floor by myself? Uh, yeah. Or, or you know, playing Smash Brothers versus other people in the dorm. That was a lot of fun. Those were treasured yeah. memories. I would Everyone have probably just mad at each other. Like, I would have been too embarrassed to be caught uh, doing something like that. So I would have been like, uh, I'm not playing a game. I'm uh, jacking off. <laughs> Uh, Matt, what have you been playing? What have uh, you been playing? What have I been playing? I... <laughs> Tickles me when I... the merchant changes tense. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm gonna. Uh, I'll say what I'm gonna play, but I have to. I guess I don't. I'm not trying to pay attention to the chat. Somebody accused me of farting in the chat, and I did not fart. Uh, so wow. I, I, I don't know what to do about this. I didn't. I didn't. Uh, if I did, I would say I will. I did. Uh, I'm not ashamed in that way, but I, yeah, I did, Matt not did not fart. fart. Matt did uh, not. Come I, on. I don't I have the chat. I didn't. I don't have the chat up, so I don't. If there's anything that is worth reading, please share it with me, guys. Otherwise, uh, I'll never know. Matt farted. Uh, yeah. Now this is what you know. You would it. sort of invite this okay, sort of thing it, it, by it. calling it out. I uh, think the fart so, was okay. actually Weiger. Farter is in the yeah. chat. Yeah, there was a second asshole. <laughs> 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 um, but what have I been playing? I uh, since we last spoke, I, I started playing and finished. Metroid Zero Mission on, wow. the, on my analog pocket. And that game, whoo, what a fucking game. That rips. game is, is it, it rips. It's so goddamn good. And it's, you know, it's a remake of uh, the original Metroid. Uh, yeah. And it's, it's, I fucking loved it. It's so good. Um, and I don't know. I just, I had such a great time with Dread and not had, hadn't really played a ton of the other Metroid games. And I just got really into, uh, I just got super into it. So I kind of just picked it up a little bit and then I couldn't stop playing it. Uh, and then I was like, well, I have to see this all the way through. And I finished it, you know, minutes before we hopped on Zoom, basically. Wow. Because yeah. I, I had wow. been on the last 
section of it, I, I had a good system for getting Robo Ridley uh, defeated. Um, but there are these two fucking uh, like pirate guards at the very end of when you're trying to escape in the uh, your you know the base is about to explode or whatever. Um, there are these two pirate guards that were impossible for me. Mm. Absolutely, they were just impossible. Uh, and then I finally did do it though, uh, and you know because I'm good uh, at, at games, and uh, I finished it <laughs> and. It, I, I, it was great. I, I, I loved it. And I immediately started, uh, I'm going to start uh, Metroid Fusion because I have not played that one. Uh, oh, hell yeah. So. Looks great on the pocket. I love the analog pocket so much. I love it. Um, I think that this is one of those ones where, you know, like I have the fondest memories of Super Metroid. But I think actually, if you're objectively evaluating them, probably Metroid Fusion is a better game. Zero mm -hmm. Mission, I remember, I for whatever reason, and maybe I'm wrong, uh, I remember the reaction at the time that people were kind of like out on Zero Mission. But I, I, I but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it was like just critically well received. I really enjoyed it. I played the shit out of it uh, back in the day, and I, I'm someone who. Metroid 1 was like a formative gaming experience for me on the NES. Like, you know, like that was wow, one of those yeah. ones where I was like, whoa, I didn't know a game could do this. The original Metroidvania. Like, I didn't realize that like, oh, wow, you can have like a game that's a set that's that's looks like a platformer, but is actually a coherent, uh, you know, completely constructed world. Yeah. So that's uh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad you're playing it. It's it's have, it, it rocks. I have a um a pretty significant blind spot with Metroid games. Like, I, I haven't. Mm. I don't think I've played any of them. Interesting. Which is, uh like a huge admission, but like like I don't think I've played uh Fusion. That's the first person one. Uh Metroid Prime. No, Prime, Prime? is per, Prime, Prime is first yeah, person. Prime Fusion's the, the newest yeah. one? Yeah, I I I don't think I I might Dread have is the newest in, one. in Super Metroid, mm -hmm. but like I've never I've never I I really should play a little Metroid. I've heard Metroid is someone in the chat is pitching Metroid. Uh, I I hear a, mm. hey maybe I I think the maybe uh, I think that that it's a it's a really good series. Um, I I just I always like the two D ones. Like I know there's there's a fondness for the uh, the three D you know for the FPS for, for the for the Prime series, but it it was like you know I I thought those are cool, but like the 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 two D style Metroid is just always what I have. Uh, nostalgia for and and what got its hooks in me originally. Um, yeah, I think Super Metroid is like maybe the best one of the best Super Nintendo games up there with Chrono Trigger, uh, mm. and I don't. That's not like a controversial opinion at all. A lot of people feel that same way. It's 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 fucking great. I don't know if it holds up, but um, but a Zero Mission does apparently. You got yeah. I mean, it's folks. You got to get your hands on this thing. <laughs> Uh, I gotta, I gotta mess around with an analog pocket. I'm, I, it sounds like a great piece of hardware. But uh, as far as what I'm playing, since what, nobody, yeah. since nobody Am asked, no, no, no. <laughs> what Nick? What are you playing? Thank you. What are, what are you playing? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Resident Evil Merchant. Uh, hey, the, hey yeah, Nick. Yeah. What are you playing? <laughs> I'll just talk about a game I streamed real quick since we are on Twitch and did mm. the experience of streaming it. This is a game I, I, I love, Into the Breach, uh, which I've talked about, you know, I wouldn't say extensively, but I talked about it on the podcast. I'm not playing a hentai dating sim, okay? Stop it, chat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about Into the Breach because of Twitch. Uh, and, uh, you know, if for whatever reason you want to watch the VOD, you can find it on our Twitch, I believe. But... Uh, this game was developed by Subset Games, who is mainly uh, two people, Justin Ma and Matthew Davis. They recently released the, re released the Advanced Edition, uh, which is a thing they've done with their with their previous game, FTL, which is like just release a, just an abundance of free content uh, as an update. And uh, it's just substantial. You know, like it's just it's honestly overwhelming the number of new units, uh, both good and bad, and and new mechanics that it's introduced. Uh, and again, I'll I'll say this again in case anyone has uh, was thinking about messing around with it. It is a reminder. It is free on mobile to Netflix subscribers. So if you want to try it out, it it plays well on on iOS at least. Uh, I love this game. I got every achievement. I unlocked every squad largely back in 2018 on Switch. And I haven't played it much since, and so definitely experienced getting my sea legs on stream, um, which is. F but I'm there was just someone in chat at, at, on while I was streaming compared me to the this is fine dog 
because by energy of just like <laughs> watching it, watching my runs get away from me. Um, but it's uh, like what, what, what it was reiterating to me on this because I was overthinking absolutely every turn. And that's the nature of this game because they are like, it's, it's a small number of units. It's like you have three mechs you control. There's an onslaught of insectoid kaiju. Uh, it's just an eight by eight grid. And then there's a small number of turns. There's like six turns uh, in each individual encounter. Every turn like matters so much. Like you mm-hmm. can't get away with just sort of like throwing something away. You have to like think everything and and streaming it invited overthinking. Uh, but it was fun to have the uh, the chat uh, chime in and 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 offer help. You know, because it's a it's a turn based game. That's part of the fun of it. So anyway, I guess what I'm saying is, <laughs> I enjoyed Into the Breach, uh, even streaming it as stressful as that was. And uh, I'm excited to play some more, uh, dig some more into the uh, the advanced edition content. Uh, let's uh, let's let's go back to the chat again. What are you guys playing? Yeah, what are you guys playing? playing? <laughs> <laughs> Roller Drum. I've heard about Roller Drum. Hey, I'm glad someone's playing playing Neon White. Uh, Neon White's a, an absolute delight. A lot, of Cult, a lot of, of Cult of the Lamb. Lamb. Yeah, yeah, I've been thinking about streaming right, Cult of the Lamb. I'll pull up the chat. It's uh, um, it's going too fast. Someone's playing Alan Wake. I see Skyrim. Uh, probably more helpful to say the person's name. Please, one at a time. Please, yeah, uh, chat. Yeah, yeah. Could you guys just slow down one second? Can you get in line? Oh, this is useless. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is pointless. Spider yeah. NPC. I I saw someone mention which I I I'm tempted to mess around with, but I'm also like I don't know if I can justify rebuying it on PC just for it to be pretty. Uh, but mm-hmm. I heard it, it looks fucking gorgeous. I saw reading that. Bo- reading books. Don't be a smart ass. Uh, <laughs> it's not what this gross. is about. <laughs> we don't talk about that shit here. How to? This is a nightmare. Yeah. I, got, I mean, <laughs> like I, there's a way to do it to, to put it on slow mode. But since my experience with Twitch is this, uh, I don't know that I have the time to um to yeah. deal with it. So goodbye, chat. Yeah, this <laughs> is the chat. This is really the Wild West in here. We don't have any uh we don't have any mods and so it's just it's it's pure <laughs> chaos. Uh but hey, well uh, we're figuring it out. I, I was gonna say someone I saw someone mention multiverses, which I I messed around with a little bit as well. that's the the WB fighting game. Um and uh honestly, it's kind of fun. It's like yeah. I, it's it's a party fighter. It's basically Smash Brothers. I I didn't decide to to put much time into it because I was just like, why not just play Smash Brothers, which I like, uh, you know, more. But I I was impressed by the design. It's very fun, and all the characters feel very different, and uh, plays well online. I guess the reason to play it over Smash Brothers is it has a, an actual functional online mode. But I don't know. It's fun to it, it's fun to be like you know, LeBron versus the dog from Adventure Time. <laughs> just pure anarchy. <laughs> I feel I feel like I really want, I'm I am going to play it, and I, but I don't know that I am legally allowed to give an opinion on like a Warner Brothers property that features mm. characters I write for, mm. you know, in a way that LeBron like, James, LeBron James, <laughs> like I write, I like I write LeBron's basketball games, <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, I don't know that, uh, yeah, uh, but I'm sure it's a good game, and everybody should play it. There you go. That's nice. Yeah, I like now that. Your contract will be yeah. extended. Yeah. Uh, well, let hey, let's 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 speak into games. Red, red fucking dot on my head. <laughs> 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 They're just shedding money. They they need every cent they can get. What were you saying, Nick? I was gonna say I think we should get to the order of the day. Are wow. we play you play, aka we stray you stray of this month's game stray. Let's talk some stray. Let's talk well, some stray, baby. Well, I mean, should I? Should I? Do you want to? How are we? So, stray is a twenty. This, this happens every adventure. episode. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's a twenty twenty two adventure video game, uh, developed by Blue Twelve Studio and published by Anna Purna Interactive. Yeah. Uh, the gameplay is essentially a puzzle exploration game, uh, where you play as a stray cat in a walled city. Uh, that is populated by robots and no human beings. It's based on the design of Kowloon City, uh, which was a, a very famous, dense, uh, I think it was like Hong, Hong Kong? Maybe. Boy, yes, oh yeah, boy. Somewhere, I, yeah. I think it's somewhere in Hong Kong. 
uh, which if you've ever seen photos of Kowloon Walled City, it's it's worth looking up. It's one of those things you would never know about without the internet. And once you find out, find out about it, you're like, you, it, it's insane that it ever was a real place. Uh, as you play as this cat, you eventually uh, take on a sidekick, which is a small drone robot who is trying to recover their own memories. And your goal is to simply escape the city uh, and maybe help the robot to safety. Mm -hmm. That's stray. If I was more confident in my in my streaming here, I would uh, throw up an image of Kowloon Walled City, but I, I'm worried I'm going to break everything. So we're, it's going fine now. We're just going to, you guys can, can search it on your own. Bing it on you your own look if it you want to see it. Yeah. It look, you look it, it up. It definitely looks cool, and I can understand the the you know how that was as, as an inspiration. Uh, it was directed by uh, Kolas Kula and Vivian Mermet uh, Guyane, who uh, are go uh, go by the 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 names Kula and Viv. And the directors apparently have two cats, Murdaugh and Riggs, named after the Lethal Weapon protagonist. Oh, um, this uh, and and apparently it's a cat heavy development team. Like like mo like most of the team had a lot cats. of cats on the team. Oh. A lot of cats on the team. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and they also had cats in the office. Like they had office cats just like hanging out. So I think they, you know, they were kind of immersed in, in feline dumb. The, the, uh, what I'll say is that the, that what, it, it reminded me a lot of was city 17 from half-life two in terms of this, like, you know, this, 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 uh, ruined, but still inhabited, like kind of dystopian police state. Like it's like a really cool, uh, environmental design and and the lighting is just beautiful like i understand why people kind of uh went 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 nuts for this game on launch because it really like it looks so distinct and uh and so stunning honestly yeah if this if this environment and this lighting hadn't been as lush as it is then i don't think the game would have succeeded i think that the whole the only reason you play this game is either you, you want to be a cat or you want to physically explore this space. Right. And that because so much of the game is just run around. Like it's not a combat heavy game. The truth is people were like, Oh, it's a puzzle game. It's not really a puzzle game. There's very minor puzzling, you know, yeah. it's mostly like, how do I get up to the top of that building? And I, sorry, go on. That's it. No, no, that's it. I was going to say like the the I I I was I'm sure someone came up, has come up with a clever term for the type of puzzles that are in this which are like they're puzzles really in name only the solution is usually self-evident it's usually yeah. like like it's sometimes as simple as like take this object and put it here and you can see the object and you can see where it goes and it's really just like like literally like retrieval and so the like it, and there's a lot of that there's a lot of I feel like just tasks throughout the game um, yeah. that aren't that are just like things to do things almost to like check off of a list but I did really like the movement as a cat and I I, I like the choices they made of you know you can't walk off of edges uh, and that you the, I like the context sensitive ju sensitive jumps I don't know I thought that worked for me I balance for me balancing on beams like never got old I, I, I had a hoot every time I was doing that walking down a banister or whatever yeah or like pushing, uh, you know, something to make uh, like a little bridge for you. That's always really fun. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, pushing a little board down, or you know, hopping inside one of those little. Uh, I, I guess that's that's kind of a puzzle, but you know, hopping inside one of the uh, empty oil drums and making it spin to a location so you can hop up yeah. to an elevated platform. Yeah, all that stuff's fun. My my favorite thing was just meowing constantly. Like the closest yeah. I could Love come to, to action in this game was just meowing. So the I meow just, button. Meow, 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 a, meow, it's meow, like meow, a meow, dedicated meow, meow. button. It's great. It's like yeah. the Mario uh, button in Luigi's Mansion. I got the uh, I got the <laughs> the the achievement for meowing a hundred times in like chapter two. I, was just I got like... <laughs> I got it too. Yeah, uh, I should point out because um, it, 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 people are asking me to do this. Yeah, um, I have two cats uh, on that's right on screen right now. One is right there. That's Sawyer. Uh, he's a sleeping mound right now. He's seventeen years old. Hi Sawyer. Uh, and then up here. This freaking chunky guy is is Hurley, and he's um uh, fourteen or fifteen. Hi, um, Hurley. I remember. Uh, but yeah, they're they're great. What a squad. they're real fun guys. Yeah, they're sleeping, and I knew they would be. I'm glad they're doing that and not being bad. Oh fucking? boy. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad they're not just fucking going at it. <laughs> Christ. Yeah. <laughs> Matt. Um... Yeah, my cat's sixty nine. <laughs> As the cat guy, as yes. the as the you know, 
and I like cats, but I'm more of a dog dude. But you're the cat guy. How what what were your reactions to to Stray both as at first and then as you got some hours into it? I thought this was incredibly offensive to cats. Uh, no, <laughs> I um I, I I thought it was great. I mean, I was. I remember seeing this when they were, uh, you know, I feel like when they, uh, when PS5 launched, yes, right, they uh, were showcasing this game as a PS5 exclusive, uh, and I was immediately like, I don't care what this game is, I'm fucking playing this thing. Uh, I, I love, it. I love it. Uh, I, I mean, I, I really uh, responded, uh, you know, I loved, I loved the game. Uh, I guess I tipped my my hat completely um but i i i knew that i was gonna love it i, I it kind of had like inside vibes which is like i love that game inside yeah um, good comparison. and uh i just yeah i don't know I, I, a game we've done a game before uh where you played as a cat I, was it called kitten squad and that game that we did that was made by PETA. oh god um, that game was rough. and oh my god. that was not fun at all real, that real was real gnarly <laughs> That's that was the worst. This had, you know, like you got to move around as a cat. There are things in it that felt true, um, like to being a cat. Uh, you know, like you could, you, there was things that I like in it that I, I, I loved that like didn't add to the game it, other than it added to the enjoyment of being a cat. Yes. You could go up to stuff and scratch it. Yeah. yeah, I love I love that. I love that you could scratch the floor. The the chat is reminding us of a Garfield cart as well. That's right, we, Garfield cart. About. Yes, another cat game. You could uh, you could knock shit off a, of of a ledge. Love that. Yes. I fun. I loved I loved. I look. I felt guilty, but it was really fun the first time I walked in between a robot's legs and it tripped, like fell flat oh, on yeah. its face. That was really fun. There's a moment yes. where a a where a you know one robot is because they're all like these these robots who are called companions. You learn that eventually. Uh, and they are all basically doing human-like tasks uh, to what end? Uh, but they're they're just kind of like because it's their life, it's because it's their role, because it's what they were yeah. assigned to, or because they were they're just mimicking human behavior. But there's a point where one guy is throwing paint cans across an alleyway uh, to another guy on a rooftop, and you can like meow at the right time and cause him to spill his paint, which you know, which is just like you're just making mischief. But that stuff is really fun. And Isn't I the really... paint spilling a requirement? It's or a requirement. You yes, you did have to do that in order to get a door open, in order to get in, and like fucking get like a notebook. But I kind of like that yeah. stuff more as a like this is a this is a puzzle, but it's also like in, you're embodying cat like behavior as opposed to like I'm going to memorize the uh, a a passcode for a safe and then go input it somewhere else. You know, stuff that doesn't make sense with a cat brain, um, even the cat brain associated by your little AI companion. Uh, who's cute as shit? The cat's cute, and so is B12. B12, yeah. B12, B12 is good. B12 reminds me of uh, Leia's robot in uh, Obi Wan. Oh mm. yes, sure. Very, like similar, like a little or or uh, batteries not included, produced by Steven Spielberg. Oh yeah, those guys, those little those guys. guys. Yeah, those guys. Abadaga, that real, was a movie. That was real a weird movie. movie. Weird movie. <laughs> Came no, I just like what are what are batteries? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. The uh the yeah the, uh, the 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 batteries not included. I I rewatched that a couple years ago, and it's just like there is a thing of of it's 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 weird as shit. But there's also an element of Hume Cronin and Jessica Tandy for a time in the '80s were like two like you know I, they must have been in their '70s, and they were both huge movie stars. Like it's like everyone wanted to see this like this older married couple in, in across a bunch of different movies. It was like it's wow. one of those things that feels like completely incompatible with what we think of as movies today. I mean, it was cool. They were great. I mean, great. I'd yeah. like to see that. I'd like to see that if it was like a Marvel movie. Like, I'd, I'd love, love that. to see a seventy or eighty year old married couple like suddenly shouldered with some unfathomable power. It'd <laughs> 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 be great. Maybe they'll get Michael Douglas back in the back in the suit in in, in Ant Man three. Who knows? Oh man, I hope yeah. so. Huh. So the uh, remember when he said he got mouth cancer from eating too much pussy? Yeah. That was fucking yeah. insane. Yeah, <laughs> was that and not, not the, biggest the kind story of pussy of you're thinking of? No, not no, cats. <laughs> no. Oh no. Good God. Oh no. Uh, real gnarly. Uh, anyway, so I, I, I want to read this quote from from uh, the producer uh, Swan Martin uh, Rajet. 
And uh, this is this was by this was an article by Catherine Castle for Rock Paper Shotgun. It's regarding how the, the, the cat maneuvers. Quite early in the project, we moved away from classic platforming challenges. We did some tests with real people, and seeing people constantly missing their jumps really didn't feel cat-like, and the fantasy of being a cat was, in our mind, was all about being smooth and being able to go easily where you want to. So we came up with this compromise of, of being able to have jumps in the game that are really easy to do, but also allow for a lot of freedom. You're still able to choose your path. You're still able to go everywhere you want to go, but in a smooth and agile way. And I will say, like, as I played more of this, like, I think they absolutely did the, like, I think this was the right call. I think they, like, because if you're just going around, you could jump anywhere and, you yeah. know, you could fall off of platforms easily. And, you know, there are all these platforming challenges. Like, yeah, it would be like a harder game, but to me that would feel more like, like Bubsy or fucking like Blinks the Time Sweeper. It wouldn't feel like, oh, I'm actually being a, you know, a, a real cat. So you're, you're saying that you wouldn't like, say, if you had like cat time and it was a meter that drained and you could like <laughs> score every jump and if you if you if you like ran out of cat time then you had to do it manually until your cat time recharged that's actually kind of a cool pitch that would suck that would su <laughs> i would have been so bummed out um, I really like the the other, uh, just another thing that I really enjoyed about this game. But you know the the character design of the robots, the the companions, I think is really cool. They've got these gangly metal bodies and these Apple two E heads. Which Heather, in your tableau, I think probably purposefully you've added an an old Apple uh, computer to sort of see what the noggin of one of these bad boys look like. Well, it's always there, Nick. You just apparently have never looked up during one of our records. <laughs> Wait, it's always there. Yeah. It is always been there you texted that you 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 like you had I that in your background I oh turned you turned it, it on. on okay that's what it is that was the text which yeah. also apparently you don't read my texts no this is how nick is and this is you know it's kind of upsetting <laughs> that this you know it's coming out in such a public forum nick Look, doesn't really always there <laughs> not really a noticer you know you gotta tell him you got a haircut that kind of stuff and it's you know it stinks <laughs> that's always been there Yes. Are you kidding? But it hasn't been on. That's it. The only difference okay. is that I turned it on. Okay. So I didn't. Okay. But it has so literally that... always been there and usually under a nice glass like display case. So if anything, it's more noticeable than it is right now. But it's but there's been a change. So I did notice the change. Yeah, so I get credit sure, for that. Man. Whatever you want. Anyway, the, I really like the character <laughs> design of the robots. And the companions, and I really like just like the like the the level design to me is is just fantastic. The way that you're able to traverse vertically, like so you know, in so mm -hmm. many different ways across the the cityscapes, it's not fucking easy to do to make this look like a lived in environment, uh, and feel like a lived in environment, and also just like you know, to, to give you so many options for navigation. And the yeah. environmental art like like matches that so well. Like like these apartments, oftentimes you'll go into like a, a like a companion's apartment or to a business, and it feels not like it's pulled from a template. It feels like a completely you know unique space. Yeah, I, uh, across the board, the art design and the sort of like uh, the lighting, all of that is just aces. And, and as you traverse different sections of the city and head to uh, more expansive ver or parts of like. The environment it also is it's it's similar enough that you're like oh i'm in the same world but you get like there's like a blade runner section there's right. like a you know there's like a dingy sort of um district nine section and 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 you get to see these different environments yeah. but they all feel thematically consistent which is nice 100 percent uh, um, I also like I was I, I also like, uh, you know, as as far as it being a, a dual sense game, because we all played on PS5, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. I thought it made good use of the dual sense, particularly like when you're hopping, speaking of navigation, when you hop in one of those buckets and it slides down a rope, you're kind of getting a little haptic feedback of that rope slide, which feels really yeah. nice. I love I, bucket traversal. I, I love, love the bucket it. traversal. Yeah. I like I like scratching back and forth. That's a lot yeah, of fun. Like, That's a, good. like a little scratch back and forth with the triggers. That's nice. It's got um, like a like to describe it. It has like a really like satisfying click kind of like the 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 the, the shoulder uh, buttons have like a it, it just it's hard. It doesn't feel like it's easy to do. Like you really got to get in there because you're scratching. Yeah. Joey Jojo twelve twenty six in the chat is talking about is mentioning the napping and the purring. Pearl Row also talking about the napping. The napping is fun. You get to like lie in, you get to lie somewhere and then yeah you're also getting some dual sense feedback from that. 
you also get the the rub on a on a leg. That's fun. You yeah. Get the, that uh, that dual sense feedback on the rub on the leg. Yeah. Did anyone find a paper bag, perhaps? Yes. Oh, I may have stumbled upon a paper bag. Yeah. So you get you there's a phone there's you know you can interact with most objects you see, um, and if you interact with a paper bag, it's fucking hijinks. It's just it gets stuck on your head, and then you don't really know where you're going. So you're controlling. You think you know what you're doing. It's going the opposite way. Yeah. It's ha you're having a lot of fun with that. A lot That's of fun. It. I loved that. Yeah, a lot of real. This, this uh, I think. Are we gonna get into the soundtrack? Do you want to like to dedicate like a, an entire section of the conversation to that? Or we can talk about the soundtrack for mention, sure. The soundtrack is like a uh, lo-fi. You know, if you if you've ever listened to like lo-fi beats to study to. And it's that uh, the girl with the headphones, like yes. working on YouTube. Recently That's ended. The... What? Really? That was it. Had it was live for, I don't know how long. It was live for so long. It was like a live stream that you could just tune in, and it was constantly uh, going. It wasn't like a, a YouTube video. It was like a live stream. Uh, wow. And some for some reason they shut it down uh, after however long. And. That's... Um, yeah, a, a really sad. crazy. Th yeah, right. This world apparently it sucks. Apparently, <laughs> the chat is saying it's back. Well, we're getting some some of the, some people in the chat are learning about this from Matt and going what, and then other people are saying that it's back. Uh, yeah, that's anyway, thing you just expect to always be there. It's like running yeah. water except for lo-fi beats. Is it back? It's back though. Look, I don't know. I don't know. This is why they don't do the news uh, with a chat. <laughs> <laughs> Wolf Blitzer just looking at the latest uh, latest comments. A second tower, a second one. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Good God. <laughs> the um but yeah, the music yeah. the music's like a minimal soundscape with like a nice like piano beat. You yes. Know, just sort of like that that um low fidelity drums. Where you you kind of sound it kind of sounds like you're on like an old uh, video game machine almost like the mm -hmm. the sound has been like stripped out. Uh, it's got a, a really nice soundtrack that a lot of times I was like, oh, I I can see downloading this soundtrack and just sort of like enjoying it in the background. Feels like great work in music just to have keep uh, just to have going with it. I, I fully agree. Yeah. I really like the soundtrack. I'd play something for it, but I, I'm not sure how Twitch is about that. We might get DMCA'd, so I'm not going to risk it. Uh, the okay. yeah, I, I I really like the I really like the score, and I really like the sound design too. Great cat noises, great robot noises, uh, you know, great atmosphere. The the I I, I and and one thing that that I'll also mention just in terms of like the the you know because you talked about the cat pawing. I'm doing a little paw motion here on video. You talked about the cat pawing. And that's like a fun thing you learn to do. You know, you can do just on like basically on 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 table legs and such as as scratching posts. But that eventually has gameplay utility. There will be se there will be sequences like where an area is gated because you've got a, uh, you know, there's like a window shade that's drawn, and then you can bat at the window shade to make it go yeah. up so you can go out the window. Uh, or there's a. Uh, there's like a, a a little panel or something that you need that has some wiring that you need to disrupt, and you go in there and you can paw at that wiring, and uh, and fuck it up and break the there's machinery. Like a, yeah, there's like a point where the robots just like do what you do, cat. Yes, yeah. The, <laughs> be a cat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, be a cat. The, also, also sometimes the only oh. time the only time that they're swearing in a game because the robots like fuck it up. <laughs> <laughs> it's Tear really up harsh. that motherfucker. Yeah, it's yeah. Like really crazy. Whoa. Um also I forgot to mention sometimes the cat does a big stretch. He does do a big and stretch. And that's like a really that's like a cat thing. Like sometimes you do a big stretch. Like when a cat wakes up from nap, it's like, oh, big stretch. Uh, and that's good. That's and yeah. that's Wait. you know, it's like healthy for them to do that. I don't think I ever saw the big stretch. You didn't see a big stretch? I saw I big stretch. Saw, I never saw a big stretch. Maybe you know he'll get like oh, yeah. It's not like, you know, it's kinda you it's if you know, you know, kinda. Is it an idle animation? Because I could see Heather just being constantly in motion. Yeah, just no, sprinting that cat everywhere. Fucking, the I think it would happen. Was depressed the entire time. <laughs> if I'm remembering, it would happen like after after you would nap. Like he'd sort of be like, oh, oh yeah, that was yeah. good stuff. Yeah. You probably I, weren't I was, napping I, too much. I, I pressed the button to see it. I was like, oh, do you need to do something? And it, it naps, and I'm like, okay, gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like, have time my for this. Favorite, my favorite thing about the cat's locomotion was the if you keep running constantly, it has sort of like a skid, like it would be yes. it, like it's 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 yeah. uh, center of balance is in the front 
or the center of gravity. So you would like skid around corners and stuff, which was really nice. And sometimes I'd just do donuts with the cat. <laughs> <laughs> that was good stuff. Uh, it's a blast. And uh, honestly, like some of my favorite sequences in the game, because I didn't love the combat and I didn't love the stealth. Like the combat was just kind of whatever. And the stealth felt like very like, you know, I just felt like we it, it, it was just kind of like a throwback sort of stealth, just avoiding, you know, searchlights mm. and uh, sentries. I mean, that was it was fine. Hopping in boxes was fine. But the thing I did love was was chase sequences. There's a few of these mm -hmm. where you just got to sprint through and try to avoid the bad guys. I, I have their their name. I keep forgetting their fucking name. I want to call them Zergs, but it's not Zergs. Zerks. Zerks. You have to Zerks. keep running from the Zerks. And I, I thought just like that, you feel so cat-like, you feel so agile. Uh, there's a there's a way you can like jump over a series of obstacles or, or a series of gaps by holding down the jump button. And that feels very satisfying. So yeah, anytime you get to run down a corridor, uh, I, I was just having the time of my life. Since since the combat was limited in this game, I made it my goal to kill every Zerk. So like, <laughs> so, like when you were in like a section that was like clearly built for stealth, where you're supposed to like maneuver between eggs and not wake anything up, yes. I was like, fuck that. And I blasted every single Zerk in that area. Wow. And it was funny because like the music will remain tense. Yes. Because you're in an environment that is that is designed for like you know sneaking or chasing or like avoiding stuff but it remains tense even after you've killed them all so you can like wander around as the cat like making sure you've gotten every zerk and it's like and then you open a door and you cross through and the music transitions into like a a nice a nice like oh it's time to relax and i'd been like relaxed for like a minute and a half like looking for more zerks <laughs> If there was a... by the, I was frustrated by the chase sequences because you can't kill the Zerks. Oh, I like that. I thought that was fun. I thought that was tense. But I, but I get, I understand, understanding how you play games. I get that. I was gonna, I was just gonna ask you, Heather, <laughs> in sequences where there were like a bunch of like Zerk eggs. Yeah. Would you pop the eggs so you could kill the Zerks yeah. inside? Yeah. I would. I would... <laughs> <laughs> because you can, you can pop the eggs with the. Uh... With the deflexor. Yes. Yeah. Or you can, or, you or you can avoid them. them. You heat them up, and then they pop. <laughs> and I'd get as many on screen as I could manage. And then there was, I think there's a game called Geometry Wars, like, back on the Xbox 360. Oh, right? yeah. And you would have to, like, manage mobs by, like, sort of circling them. And then they'd, they'd, they'd get caught into a sort of swirling pattern in the middle, and you could pick them off as you, as you needed. So I would get as many Zerks into the middle of a room as possible by just like running around the periphery and then blasting them and making it in sort of like a, an emergent game for myself. Uh, just uh, Geometry that Wars. That's what I called doing my math homework. Matt. <laughs> oh. the... It wouldn't be the show. <laughs> <laughs> the um uh, the the so the the combat the way it works is is your your little your little guy your little drone b12 gets a what uh, uh heather is just about to take a sip i was just about to ask her what a what it's called uh the what the defluxor uh, defluxor that's what it is he gets he, he yeah. has the defluxor and then you're dispatching it from him so it's kind of like you're moving around as the cat and then designating an area uh, as you're you're moving the right stick, right? You're moving the right stick to position it, and then zapping yeah. the the zerks. And and it, it has a limited charge, so you have to like right, manage right, right. the overheating on the on the defluxor, which I discovered you could lengthen the amount, like it, you could lengthen the amount of charge you could use by clicking it like as if it were a machine gun. Yes. So I would be tapping it constantly to like kill all the zerks. <laughs> uh good. the this is good stuff the the um i don't know matt did you what did how did you feel about like the gameplay part of it you know aside from just moving like a cat we're talking like the puzzles the the stealth the the combat oh. i didn't really play the game uh i just kind of <laughs> messed around. Like, no i i did i completed this game uh yeah and yeah i i thought the gameplay was great i love like i don't know like that sort of like puzzle platforming it's like what i was saying earlier that it's like it sort of reminded me of inside like that's sure. shit like uh like trying to avoid being seen as the cat was fun uh when you get that like yeah that like backpack gun 
<laughs> like that's great. Like that's really fun and cool. The uh, defluxer. The, yeah, the defluxer. Uh, now I ha- now I have it in my head. Heather said it twice. I'd forgotten yeah. what it was called. The defluxer. And, uh, like that's just the good fluxer. stuff. Uh, and I, you know, a lot of it is like you're going around looking for uh, notebooks. Uh, yes. And that to me got a little tedious because it's like just the same kind of fetch quest. You're just going somewhere else. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah. overall, I, I mean, I liked, yeah, traversal, great. Com- you know, light combat, great. Um, I will say the thing that I like could have used, and this is just because I'm kind of dumb. Sure. Map? I'm a little map. Yep. Just a little map. Just a a little something to tell. Because, like, sometimes it was, you know, they do a really great job of being like, go this way. Like, they literally sometimes tell you, like, go this way. Um, But sometimes during the fetching uh, quests, you're like, okay, you got to go find these things. Oh, we got to go back to that one place. I'm like, I don't remember where the fuck that was. That was days ago for me. Yeah, it it eventually, it it, it maybe it gets a little... Uh, tough to navigate especially that one section you spent a couple of chapters in that one like, yeah. most expensive part of the city i forget what it's called yeah i it's it's interesting you know i kind of felt like it's ironic that there's so many fetch quests in a game about a cat nick 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 <laughs> yes <laughs> fuck yes <laughs> Cats you don't know, play fetch. If it was a dog instead, that would have made more sense. Yeah. You wouldn't call that scratch quests, would it's they? True. The the okay, so I I want to talk about a, a a couple other things I really liked, which was one of this is the world building in from the standpoint mm-hmm. of like there's just like little details that are that you're that are thrown out there that aren't necessarily essential to the narrative, but just kind of flesh out like like there at a certain point someone's talking about how many days have passed. And it's, it, it seems to make you think that, like, maybe tens of thousands of years have happened since humanity yeah. was was extinguished. Like, just so much time has passed. Uh, there's there's a point where there's some wall clocks, and they have 16 hours on them. Like, at a certain point, we, sw- we switched to a 16, or the, they, like, the companion switched to a 16-hour day, which is just, like, a wild, like, thing to think about. Like, you don't really have time thought about in, 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 in those ways. Um, well, yeah. Also be, like, you would think that that might be uh, something that, evolves after you've had no access to the sun for that makes forever. sense yeah you know 10,000 years without sun why would you need a 16 or a, a 24 hour clock right yeah it's pretty cool uh and then the uh, the the plants engineered to grow without sunlight i thought was like just like a cool like oh yeah that that makes sense and that justifies why there's any sort of organic life left in this world like all that stuff i thought was great and it, it just that there was a lot of thought into you know real like a, a, an apocalyptic robot inhabited world has been is like such well-worn territory that they put a lot of thought into making this one feel distinct which i which i really really enjoyed there's i i just looked at the chat and there was something that they reminded me of that i found completely disgusting but i don't know if we're gonna if it's like if it's too much of a oh we're gonna talk particular are we gonna talk about some some late game some possible stuff that's that's later in the game that people might not know about if they haven't played all of it yeah maybe something that like you necessarily wouldn't be privy to just on a mm. cursory glance and that perhaps. you might want to have ex- uh, you know experience later on yeah perhaps you'd want some sort of warning that uh you're about to enter spoiler country yeehaw that's right get your cowboy hats on get on your yeehaw. Your, your lassos get, uh, get 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 on your horse get, get it's it's yeehaw in time motherfuckers giddy on the buckle fuck up. up hold on to your hats and glasses some in spoiling here? may be okay, happening so you did get it, as heather, heather, you heather did get takes it. out something she was you got it yeah. we sent it I, we sent it to you yeah all right great it's it's spoiler country you're liable uh, to get spoiled. Country. Yeah, you might get spoiled. Heather put Heather has put on her gamely put on a cowboy hat as uh, Matt has also put on a cowboy hat, and I have like a Panama hat that kind of I think looks enough like a cowboy hat. Hopefully, uh, Nick didn't come in time. <laughs> We've been talking about this for days. Somehow, I know. And it, this was delayed. Didn't work out. Yeah, and I, okay. I just got a I got a box in the mail, and Matt was like. <laughs> Open it when it's spoiler country. And I was like, what's in it? And he's like, well, we're not in spoiler country yet, so I can't tell you. Chad is asking us if we 
uh, if we do this every episode? And the answer is yes. Yeah, we know you <laughs> would you do this. Yeah, we physically put hats on. Heather's always mad use. about it. Yeah. Uh, the okay, so uh, so I, I guess like like what like what what you were about to talk about, Matt, was the lidless walls, the the eye walls that yes. are staring back at you. I'm referencing a Diablo two item, uh, but it, it's like the there's these there's these 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 giant eyes, which it's the closest that the the it comes to like you know horror, just like overt horror, and mm -hmm. that freaked me. I like hated looking at that shit. Nasty, it was fucking disgusting. I was nasty playing through shit. that section, and I was like, this is nasty. I hate this. This is not. The cat game that I thought it was, I didn't no. know it was going to be nasty. Uh, I, was, I was extremely frustrated that you couldn't kill the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and and so or and at so least, or at least, I, I I also will say I was also a little bit disappointed that when you shine the light on them, that the pupils didn't dilate or something. There was oh, no, that would have been a fun detail. You know, like no like. There was yeah. no interaction with the eyes at all. That's interesting. And if you're gonna if you're gonna cover the wall with eyes, you gotta at least make them like look at you. Yeah, that would have been a nice, nice little polished detail. I mean, it's a small team, but it would have been cool. Uh, the yeah, I I I didn't I, I didn't love looking at those. I honestly was was disgusted by it. But actually, after you get through that gauntlet, which I think is in the sewers portion, right? Yeah, you're like you're yeah. you're underground, and it's like, I mean, it's a punishment that you're down there. It's bad. And then on the other side, but then on the other side of that, you get a little reward, which is that you come to the ant village, which is a, a, a like a like sort of a a robot exile semi utopia. They sort yes. of built this 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 uh, this ascending city, um, and uh, and it like that looks really cool. Like the the aesthetic of that is really cool, and also you get a pretty major story revelation at this point from B twelve. So B twelve has been. Uh, he has like he earlier talks about how he had a scientist who he knew. This is this is major spoil. We're we're the we're deep into spoiler country right now. You see the hats, you know what's going on. <laughs> so don't be confused. Why so, is your hat so small? Mine? Well, it's because my oh, head's your fucking head. gigantic. You're but also, a hat under he also refuses <laughs> to take off his hat. Tony Hawk hat. <laughs> yeah, no, I gotta stay true to me, baby. I refuse to take it off. But also, it's not gonna matter because the my my yeah. uh, headphone, headphone thing is thick. Yeah, yeah, with two C's. So the so B twelve had talks about like earlier. You know, you get a, a lot of info about like he had a human scientist that he had worked with or that he would you know that he was the assistant of uh, worked with in some capacity. And at this point, he realizes that he himself is the scientist, that his consciousness that he talked about, the scientist was trying to upload his consciousness earlier. His consciousness is actually the scientist consciousness. And he just like kind of has like a little reality break. He's just like, I fucking need a minute. You can't use him for a little bit because he's so like just trying to figure out what the fuck this means for him as a, as a being. Yeah. The truth is you can't use that guy for much. So like True. him being like, I need a minute. You're like, okay. He, he doesn't other than the the light that he can shine he doesn't yeah. do anything else does he he can well, translate he, like, he can translate he's how he, yeah oh, he's yeah. how he translates text and how you can interact with npcs which maybe you right. you you didn't you didn't do except try to try to kill him um but <laughs> but you no, can't I, talk I to interacted, them i interacted i interacted with every npc and then, and then the only times where i was like yeah i don't want to do that is like there's an artist in this robot colony who was like, hey, can you find me these flowers? And I'd already found one, and I was like, here's this one. And they're like, only two more. And I was like, nah, that's, Same. Not, that's not important to me. Same. That was the point in the game where I was just like, I'm just out on side quests. I just don't, I like, I don't care enough to get you these three flowers. If it's mission critical, I'll, I'll, I'll do it at some point. But I got, I I'm do, sorry, I want to keep going. I didn't do the flowers. I did do the sheet music because I, I had the sheet to music just too. find I found a all bunch those. of it. And then yeah. I was also like, I want to hear the songs. Yeah, that was and fun. I love the sheet music. <laughs> he's learning I was like, oh man i'm gonna i'm gonna get all these songs and one of them's gonna be beautiful and they were all just sort of like bummers yeah i was kind of hoping one would be like so, something i knew like like welcome to the jungle or something or like oh, that'd be fucking sweet uh or like yeah something good uh something good like that uh, it's a shame. yeah i can't uh, so think of another song at the end he gets to the so then you you go through this 
uh, after you go to the ant village, there's some more, you know, uh, there's, uh, you get the stealth section. I, like, this second city environment, the second big urban environment, I, I should have written down what all the cities are named. But that one's really cool, too. That one's really, yeah. like, you mm -hmm. know, it's it's got a lot going on. It's more of, like, they've got, they've got functional commerce. So there's, yeah. like, you know, clothing stores and, and, and nightclubs. Uh, so you go through this whole section, and you eventually end up the final chapter. You're in Walled City 99. Uh, you're actually outside Walled City 99. It kind of a you you unlock the subway station. You take the subway there, which is super super well sanitized and well maintained. Uh, you're, the the companions there don't have any sort of personalities. They're just purely like task oriented, like just painting walls and making sure this looks this environment looks pristine. And yeah. then we kind of get to our end game, which I I thought this was the chapter before the end game, but this is really the end game here. I yes, it is. Are yeah. you? We are in spoiler country, so I can just say what it. Yeah, you can just say it. Yeah, do. yeah, we're majorly so in spoiler so, country. So, so there's yeah, there's like a room of computers, and you have to open up the the top of the walled city and allow the sunlight back in. Which my brain was like, oh man, that's gonna cook every plant. Yeah, because like if your plants are designed so that they don't need sun, and then you like roast them with radiation, those plants aren't gonna live through that. So right, the cat, the way I viewed it is the sort of sad dystopian ending of this is that the cat is roasting and killing the entire <laughs> the entire community which has been walled <laughs> off for 10,000 years all just to get out get me out of here yeah, all to get out like uh, and also i i know we're supposed to infer consciousness in this cat but it never really gives us a reason to believe that it's conscious it, it like it it services like its own animal needs and and like can kind of follow commands, but it's not like the cat's like at any point like thank you like it's, it's just a cat. <laughs> the cl the closer you, uh, it comes, in, yeah, because B twelve gets fucked up because B twelve has to you know use all of the power that's left within him to try to get the shield and like he kind of like just falls down inert the object of that was B twelve. And I, there is a moment where you can kind of like cuddle up next to that, but that's the closest it comes. It's, it's, yeah, it, yeah, it seems very much just like a regular ass cat. Which I imagine was because that it was warm. And that was the first time it was on the oh, ground. There you go. So the cat's yeah. like, oh, yeah, I gotta, I gotta lay here. This is great. <laughs> this is good. A little, yeah, a little sunspot. <laughs> but yeah, B12 passes away. Yeah. And the uh, sky opens up and you can get back to your, there's like a, uh, the in, the implication that you're re reunited with your pack of stray cats yeah. in the in the outside world, uh, and that's it. You, it's funny because when you think about like I hadn't thought about the fact that there's nothing altruistic that the cat does. It is not a hero. It is uh, it is just servicing its own desire to get out of this place. Yeah, one hundred percent. And 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 kills the only thing that's kind to it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, it, it, someone in the chat is mentioning that it's like that 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 the, you know, that that if you think of the player as embodying the ch the cat, then that's it then like kind of the emotions you're experiencing the cat's emotion, but that also doesn't make a lick of sense to me because none of this ex is, is what a cat brain, like a cat with a cat brain would do. So unless I'm saying that like somehow these cats unless my head canon is that these cats have evolved to have human consciousnesses. Like, you know, and th so that's where their agency is coming from. That doesn't make any sense to me either. They just seem like fucking cats. Yeah, it's it's the story of an extremely lucky robot who finds right. a cat that just happens to do what it needs. <laughs> yeah, I think that's maybe it. <laughs> you can also, I mean, uh, you know, I, I, I grew, well, no, my hat. Uh, oh my God. It was almost, we were almost out of spoiler country. Well, we maybe should, we maybe could, we can exit spoiler country momentarily. Okay. Uh, uh, but yeah. Okay, yeah. Unless, unless you guys have any, anything else in the end game. I was going to say, you, you can, um, I got, I felt very sad for B12 every now and then. Like when B12 was silent, I was like, oh man, poor guy. I hope he, you know, hope he you know, snaps out of it. And then, you yeah. know, obviously he does. Uh, but then when he passes away and you can lay down next to him, that's kind of like, you could just kind of end the game there and be like, okay, well, I'm just going to stay next to my dead friend. It's really, you know, you could have, it could have a sad ending. I, li I like the little coda there. I like, though I like emerging yeah. to the sunlight. And also the visual of the fucking 
uh, the the sun shield being pulled back and the sunlight going down on the environment and you know we're seeing this envi- we're, we're seeing all the 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 biomes uh, that we inhabited earlier throughout the game that are like kind of getting sunlight sh- shined on them I thought that's really fucking cool and uh, yeah I, I don't know I really I overall really really liked it and I thought it was a, was a real hoot we're gonna exit spoiler country and uh, I yeah I so I was very medium on this game like. It was it was beautiful and had good music and it was novel to play as a cat, right? Even though we've done it a couple times on the show. Sure. Mm-hmm. But there was it was almost like a short story that sort of overstayed its welcome. I, I won't often say this, but I think the game could have been shorter. I, I mm. didn't need I didn't need to do a lot of the stuff that I like, hey, can you get a workman's uniform from that store by talking to that guy and then talking to that guy and then convincing that guy to give you a cassette tape or what yes yeah like i I was like ah okay sure but what why are you why are you grinning is the chat being like shut up no i'm just like i'm i'm are we i like are just we exited spoiler country like are we let's just tread carefully i can't i can't put the hat back on we can't put the hat back on so Wait, was I guess that, it's pretty was minor. Is that a spoiler? No, I guess it's pretty. It's all what you were saying was pretty minor. Uh, I just like. I was, I, descri- I was okay. I'm sorry that I have spoiled outside of spoiler country. Also, people who are watching this, like, there, I'm sure there are people who have no idea what the fuck this podcast is and are just like watching it on Twitch because there's like, ah, oh, sure, I'll watch this. And there's like, what spoiler country? Like, what? What's going on? And they just <laughs> had the game a- spoiled for them. We're like, what? <laughs> is that woman a hostage? <laughs> <laughs> Why doesn't she leave? Uh, yeah, I I just I was like it was it was never a bummer to play it. Mm. But it was also never like transcendent. It wasn't like, "Oh man, I'm looking forward to playing Stray like a lot." Like if we were still doing scores on the game, it'd be like a solid 7.5 for me. It was like, "Oh, okay, great." I'd call great. it a I call it like a yeah, to me it's like an eight, eight out of ten. I really enjoyed it. I love the environmental design. I I love the world building. I I was really, really impressed by the way the levels were laid out. And mm-hmm. a lot of the the actual the core gameplay I felt like was, you know, didn't really click for me, but it was a cool novelty. I, I see your point. If this was a four hour game instead of a five hour game, is it maybe a little stronger? But I think there's also the reality of like, you know, hey, we're gonna we're gonna sell this fucking thing at a certain yeah. point. It, it, there's a certain number of game of expected gameplay hours that like, you know, they probably padded it a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I I don't know. I, I I thought it was a really cool, unique experience. And I'm glad it exists. Matt, any any, yeah, any I'm, final oh, thoughts? Yeah, I'm super I'm super glad it exists. Like my complaints yeah. are just sort of like, hey, this is my point of view on the game. But I, I'm not saying like yeah. I wish this hadn't happened to me. <laughs> right. <laughs> like being asked to co-host a video game podcast. You would, <laughs> that kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, no, I mean, yeah, I really liked it. I, if I, yeah, if I guess if I had to give it a score. Um, We're doing scores I feel, again. I don't know. What's going on? It's, it's a throwback it's, it's episode. A, yeah. Um, I, I feel like, uh, yeah, I loved it. I don't know if it's like something I necessarily would go back to ever like um maybe the music only uh i i would probably say yeah like an 8, 8.5 is like probably where i would sit yeah i really i had a great time with it uh and it, it, it it's worth noting that yeah if you have a ps5 it is free on on playstation plus if you have a playstation great plus point. subscription um and that was like a no-brainer then to me i was like oh yeah well i don't have to buy this i'm gonna play it i'm gonna great this is great um uh, yeah, I just uh, I had a, I had a great time with it. I loved that cat. I loved B twelve, um, and I liked some of the other robots you met along the way yeah. too. Some of them had fun personalities, a lot of fun. Uh, and 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 cool you know cool outfits and things like that. So uh, hats off. I, I I loved I loved Stray. Yes, nice hats off. And uh, and uh, hey, you know what? It's time for the you play of this month's we play you play. Our listeners are the review crew in the Ryu crew. Uh, that was so loud. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> that was so, so loud. fucking loud. We also don't know if we did it in the right order. Like we I don't about remember. Yeah. We like we don't know. That was too loud. I apologize to anyone listening on headphones, <laughs> or to anyone with children sleeping in the room. 
Uh, let's. <laughs> So I would, let's. Uh, hey, I, if you're I, watching this and your child's sleeping right next to you, d- turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter with you. Uh, does uh, uh, let's uh, let's go to the chat. Uh, intro course uh, cried uh, when the cat fell and lost its friends. Ten out of ten. Um, fair review. Uh, someone's asking about the the Garfield mod. I did see the Garfield mod. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I think it's fun, but I also think, like, it doesn't, you know, Garfield moves differently than a normal cat, so. I, I saw that there was a CJ from Grand Theft Auto San Andreas mod for it. There you so go. So that's, that's, that's <laughs> how you do it. Uh, Zippy Foxheart, 8.2 score. Love the faces in the robots when you meowed at them. That is a cool detail. Because they have, like, little, you know, they the their monitor is the face. Yeah. And so the reactions on that was really was really cool. And that you could interrupt like a board game. I like the guy game. who got angry. Yes, yeah. There was, like, one robot. Like, most robots would, like, kind of blush or, like, make, like, a happy. There's one robot, like, in the garage where there's, like, a few robots hanging out and meditating or something. And if you mail at that robot, it gets pissed off at you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, yeah. I got – oh, no, you go. I was I was going to say the uh, – the uh, yeah, there, there's also, like, there's the Mahjong game that they're playing. I think it's yeah. Mahjong. And you can go onto that table and fuck, fuck that up. Uh, uh, cheesecake guy dunked a basketball as a cat. Nine out of ten. Yeah, that <laughs> incredible. And, and uh, Mr. Viper underscore Twitch right underneath stepping on the keyboard was so freaking funny. That was actually really fun because there's a point where you step on a computer keyboard and then the key strokes appear on the monitor and it's just like gibberish. And then there's also like piano keyboards you can walk across and like, hey, you got to deliver on the cat walking across the piano keys. Everyone wants to see that. Yep. This isn't part of the Ryu crew, but somebody wants to know how old I am and I'm 31. It's news to me. <laughs> uh, they asked. It's coming up a lot. I've seen it and I just was like, it's here now. This is where we were talking to the chat. I better yeah. address this. I thought you were still 30. That's why I was like, I, did, I didn't no, realize your last I'm 31. Birthday was your I'm going to be freaking 32. Wow. Wow. Is that... And then after that, if you could believe it, 33 and then so on. And then you're crucified. Yeah, well, yeah, if I'm lucky. <laughs> I feel uh, crucified every day when I'm online. Uh, Wasted Life 107, my four-year-old cried so hard that the – there is an endgame spoiler here, uh, but uh, I, which I won't read because we're out of spoiler country. Eight out of ten. Uh, bang, bang, Bart. <laughs> this is a longer one. Missed opportunity. By the way, great Simpsons reference, bang, bang, Bart. This Very is good. Matt, you remember that one? No. <laughs> this is the it's the itchy and this itchy and scratchy the movie episode and they're talking about how what what could happen to bart if they put if they parent him correctly and he could be eventually chief justice of the supreme court but if not he'll become like a low rent stripper oh and he's, his, yes yeah and they're like you're fat and he's like just more of me to love baby and he's bang bang bart and and then he like gets pelted and falls down uh Honestly, anyway yeah. ideal uh the male the ideal male physical form <laughs> bart chubby bart adult bart yeah uh here's bang bang bart's uh, thoughts missed opportunity not giving us the power fantasy with the defluxer they put in that oppressive cooldown which feels like a weird choice considering it's a small portion of the game why not let us have something fun with it for comparison's sake think about something like hl2 half-life 2 when they give you the upgraded gravity gun which is an awesome power fantasy great great uh great point. yeah i mean they're like to matt's favorite weapon beam could have been in the game yeah they could have just uh, yeah they could have given you a beam could have given you a badass weapon that that's absolutely true at least maybe if you get it back it's fleeting amazing it makes for amazing gaming memories my memory of the weapon in stray is that it's kind of a pain in the ass ps love stray so much overall eight out of ten maybe they should have put like a pistol that you hold in your mouth sideways yeah and you bite it to like pull the trigger (laughs) A little, a little, yeah. uh, yeah, like cat revolver that yeah. you load with like, uh, catnip scented freaking bullets. Um, a couple more on here. Uh, the new music machine. My cat is staring at you guys on my TV. 10 out of 10. Uh, hello to your, <laughs> hello to your kitty. Uh, uh, Nick Sussis, uh, NYX Sussis. Uh, I like the music so much that I naturally got the one-hour nap trophy since I also took a cat nap while playing to enjoy the vibes. You get a trophy for napping for an hour. Wow. Wow. That's a good. That's good. That's really fun. That's, Are you that sure is actually that last, cool. that last name wasn't Nick Sucks? Oh. Fuck. If so, like I was... got fucking owned. <laughs> I got fucking dunked on. Oh, shit. <laughs> that's like when uh, that I, I was previously doing a Twitch stream. And someone like got me to be like, you know, 
uh, like someone got me to like, like someone's name was like feel up a toddler or something like that. And I read like Philip, <laughs> Philip a toddler, I think. And I was just like, oh, and I read oh, it no. without knowing what it was. Oh, no. I was like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> and you repeated it. Yeah. So if that is, a, if that is Nick sucks, then, uh, then yeah, I, I got played. Uh, a cat, uh, RG, uh, Mozzie Jr. A cat rubbed my, against my legs while delivering my route in the rain today. Completely unaffected by the rain. That cat was 11 out of 10. Thank you for your service, whatever you're doing delivering. Uh, and, uh, Air Giordano, they really fucked up by not including mouse hunting, 8 out of 10. Honestly, some mouse hunting would have been cool. Maybe a little dish with milk. Yeah. Take a little sip from that. You can drink from water. You can, you can have a drink. That's kind of a fun thing you can do as the cat too. Yeah. Um, really good stuff yeah I, I you know a lot that of good can, uh a lot of good i i think like a lot of good you know the consensus seems to really hover around where we were with this game so i feel like everyone kind of has the same sort of thought so there you go um and hey we thought I, i'm sorry i can't read everyone's thoughts a lot i i, I read as many as i could uh, to myself and read a few aloud uh, a lot of good thoughts in the chat uh thank you everyone for chiming in and we thought since we're here we could do a bonus segment that's wow. right. An unprecedented second segment here on our Twitch stream. It's time for a trip down memory card lane. Our own Heather Ann Campbell has a deep dive into her retro collection in Heather's Hole. Uh, hi, welcome. Welcome to my hole. <laughs> oh. I can't believe this sound effect plays behind it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this week, because we're here on uh, <laughs> because we're here on uh, on uh, live, uh, I have two uh, rare handhelds to show to the stream. Um, one is something I think I've mentioned on the show before. It is the Pocket Station, which is the look at that bad boy. Can you see? Can you see wow. That? Yeah, get a little okay. glare on there, but yeah, we can see it. Okay, yeah, right. look at that there thing. You go. There you go. There you go. Uh, so this was a uh, a memory card that was only released in Japan. Uh, for the Sony PlayStation 1, uh, you can see that it flips up like this and you slot it into the uh, memory card slot on your PlayStation. Uh, and when the battery was working, it would allow you to have a very, very minimal uh, gameplay experience. You can kind of see that PlayStation logo there yes. in, the, in the LCD screen. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a, a five button experience and there were uh, certain unlockables that were available only if you had this pocket station micro game experience for your PlayStation and those unlockables were never released in the United States because the pocket station was never released in the United right. States. It was mm. only released in Japan. So if you want a certain weapon in Final Fantasy VIII, you had to import the pocket station in order to unlock that weapon by playing a small Tamagotchi style Chocobo game on the pocket station so that's uh that's one of the things we're looking at today but really i have a, the I have treasure... a, I have a quick question on that before you move on uh did, yeah. did you have did you get the pocket station at the time or was this a later yes. purchase so you no, had this, this at the time the, yeah this was wow. I, I got this at the time so that i could unlock that weapon in final fantasy 8 uh, i remember it coming out and i remember it like not being released stateside and then being kind of disappointed and then reading like forums and people were just like it's kind of it kind of sucks don't worry about it it was not great it yeah. wasn't great. <laughs> and then the uh, the Dreamcast VMU came out, and I was excited about that, and then the VMU also kind of sucked. Also just not like, great. Yeah, no. Not much you could do with it. Not great. The yeah. Switch is essentially this. It's a thing you hmm. slot into your mm. into your uh, your television, and then you can wow. take it with you on the go. What a way to think about it. It actually works. <laughs> <laughs> this does not work. There's a, um, a, a sound chip in it that played... Very, very, like, as if your watch alarm had gone off. Not, yeah. nothing substantial. Nothing great. Uh, but speaking of the Switch and Nintendo history, the other uh, rare handheld of the day is this Donkey Kong Game & Watch. Wow. wow. Now, why this is an important piece of uh, gaming history is that the Game & Watch was developed after, I think, oh, God, what was that dude's name? Gun Gunpei Yokoi? Gunpei Yokoi, yeah. There we go. Gunpei Yokoi uh, watches somebody on a train playing with their calculator, like a bored businessman. And he's like, man, we should make like little games that like people could play on the train. 
And so he invents the Game & Watch, which is, as you'll recognize, almost identical to the Nintendo DS and 3DS mm -hmm. systems. This wow. is important as a machine because this on Donkey Kong is the very first ever D-pad. Wow. So it was invented for the Game & Watch for Donkey Kong, and it was such a popular mode of playing a video game that uh, that it was included on, I think, every Nintendo system after, right? Until yeah, I don't the think Switch. there's I don't think there's been one without a D pad. And the Switch doesn't the... have one, right? Because uh, it's got no, buttons on it has both four sides. buttons. Yeah, yeah. No, the Switch uh, has a D pad. At least the Switch Lite does? does, right? Or no? The Switch Lite. The Switch yeah. Lite does. Oh, yeah. okay. The Switch does, but the Switch the Switch heavy does not. Um, this still works, and I was hoping that the batteries would come before. I ordered batteries for it for the stream, but uh, it's you can't. They they didn't come in time, yeah. So I can't I can't play it. Um, but uh, but yeah, you it, they were very they were extremely basic video games with uh sort of here in the states we think of them as Tiger Electronics. It would yes, be like right. Permanent uh permanent graphics that would be highlighted. So like. Mario would be you if you you held the screen on an angle you could see like all of the different ways Mario could appear on your screen and then each of those was highlighted like a digital watch when it was time for Mario to move or hop over a, a barrel because there's mm. also a jump button which that's pretty cool there's a jump button on this little this little guy yeah um, that's fucking sick but yeah I mean it's the the invention of the D-pad guys. And then also they were like, what, what do we make after the Game Boy? And somebody probably just pulled this out, put it on the table, and then everybody else applauded until their hands bled. Uh, <laughs> yeah. This Gunplay... was released in 1982. So, sorry, was released wow. in 1982. Wow. Uh, so it is 40 years old. Jesus this... Christ. Almost half, almost <laughs> half a century since the fucking Donkey Kong came out. So that thing came, that like Ooh. that that was on a shelf somewhere. Someone bought it. You later rebought it, uh, but that was like on a shelf. Eight years passed, and then Matt was born. Like yeah. that's how old that piece of hardware is. <laughs> yeah, I actually bought this at a um, at a thrift. So there's like a flea market in Paris where there's tons and tons and tons oh, oui, and tons oui. of booths. It's like a permanent <laughs> flea market. Yeah, Trebian. And uh, I bought it in Paris because I had never seen one in the States for less than like, you know, $150, $200. And this was just like some French guy was like, it is not good. <laughs> you want it? Uh, okay. <laughs> Have you, you not played play it, is not, it is not nice. <laughs> well, it's kind of a, a, a though. Like the, I think those are those are two good. Like the, those are great companion pieces there, Heather, because they're both like kind of like like yeah, they weren't good in and of themselves, but they were they're like kind of the progenitor of what eventually came to be. Like you know the the Game Boy or or ultimately like you know the PSP and and the Switch. Mm -hmm. Um, and so like, yeah, those are, those are, those are great starting points for where technology eventually ended up. The, uh, uh, uh Gunpei Yokoi, by the way, uh, one of the, the, you know, the most, uh, like imp significant, I feel like, you know, video game uh, developers or, or, you know, just video game figures of all time, because, uh, like also the, the father of the Game Boy. And then we were talking about Metroid earlier. He was a producer on Metroid. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Hey, iconic franchise. Uh, what an incredibly influential piece of hardware, R.I.P. Yokoi, uh, who died I tragically can't believe, young. I can't believe that he was he saw somebody on a train playing with the calculator. Psycho behavior. Yeah, right. But like a but a visionary, a true visionary, yeah. except for the virtual yeah. boy, which we talked about. Well, <laughs> well, but even that though, ahead of his time. Like, what were they doing? Typing in like, okay, what's a hundred plus a hundred? Just trying to figure it out. I'd probably type in like uh, 58008 and then turn the calculator upside down. Well, let me just try to do that real quick. Let's see here. Yeah, Wait, grab your, that, grab your does, pocket calculator. I couldn't I couldn't tell if no. Matt was literally too young that he had never done that. <laughs> 
Or I if did he that. was playing along with the joke. <laughs> I did it. Look. Wait, you could spell things on a calculator? <laughs> <laughs> Next thing on a graphing cl- me... calculator, you could. You could. Oh, okay. Well, I yeah. nerd. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Wait, roasted. no. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> also, <laughs> pot, kettle. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you just showed uh, off two things that sort of negate you mm. calling me that. <laughs> so... Uh, that there, there was my whole nice. Does that work? That was perfect. <laughs> it sounded like it. Thank hurt. you so much for doing that. It did sound very it always, painful. It always does. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Uh, hey, this has been this has been so much fun to everyone in the chat, everyone who yeah. came to watch this show yeah. live. This has been an absolute treat. Uh, this has been a you know I'm 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 blown away by the turnout, with the number of people who who came up to came uh showed up to to see this. Uh, hopefully, those of you who listened to this episode later in our, our main feed also like it as a podcast episode, even though we have been you know playing to the chat a little bit. I think uh, hopefully this will still be a decent piece of audio. But if you do want to watch the vod. Uh, it will be up on our Twitch channel, so if you're listening to this and you want to watch this later, uh, want to see our, our three faces, uh, you can do that at twitch.tv slash getplayedpod. Last time I streamed, uh, so one of our listeners just put in the chat, holy shit, that's what you look like, which <laughs> been thinking about all week. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, There's got to no. be, you, everyone oh. that listens to a show or watches a Twitch stream should take... Oh, no. Maybe like an etiquette class or something, or just like <laughs> some sort of like what not to say that's, sort of thing. That's so funny. I I was nervous all day. Uh, yeah. This that you, like doing an improv show is different because you're never yourself. But for here, right. I'm, I'm basically myself. So I've been nervous all day. Mary was like, "These these are your friends. Like the people who tune in for this are going to be like your like people who like the show. So you don't have anything to worry about." And I thought about that for a while, and I was like, "No, I'm not going to look at the chat." Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I, but I do, I do, uh, I do like the fans, so so yeah, hopefully God they bless weren't you. too mean. Yeah, thanks for watching. This is odd. Yeah. This was really really fun. The the chat yeah. was actually the chat was a delight, uh, and chat oh, chat said cool. a lot of very very nice things about all of us, and a lot of very nice things about the podcast. Thank you, thank you all for for watching this, and thank you to those of us who are listening uh, to this in your in your podcast feeds. Thank you to you as well. Uh, and you're the reason this uh, this is fun to keep going uh, w- with each week um, as we play good games now and talk about what we've uh, uh, things like Stray. Anyway, that'll be this week's Get Played as I'll stop rambling. You can follow us on social media at Get Played Pod. Our music and engineering are by Devin Bryant. You can follow him on Twitter at BaffleGabs. And also I'll shout out our premium show Get Animated and Heather... Not today, uh, where when the the Twitch stream is, but when this is in the podcast feed, uh, tell everyone what, what they're going to be expecting on Get Animated that week. Well, next week's episode of Get Animated is the end of Evangelion, the cinema spectacular that finishes off the Evangelion television series. It was we've already recorded the episode, and it was yes. a full blown delight to watch yeah. that with you guys. What a yeah. what a what a blast. treat! Yeah, I can't wait yeah. for people to hear it. Yeah. Yeah. We we so check, watched it all together in the same place. We were in the same place and then we talked about it Pretty immediately neat. afterwards. So hot yeah. react hot 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 takes, fresh reactions uh from me and Matt. Oh, I didn't change my name in the chat in on the Matt changed his to Meowt Apper Dawcat, and I'm still just like regular old Nick Weiger up here, like an idiot. I'm Heather and Campbell up here, it's okay. Some of us are just playing 4D chess, and I think it's just the <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I I feel like I feel like you were playing 4D chess, but even so, you got played. Oh, fuck. <laughs>